hello and welcome to the start of another vlog it's actually a weird day for me to be starting the vlog it is tuesday and let me just tell you i need coffee because the tuesday that i am having okay i just got home today well not today yesterday i planned my day so nicely because um it's office day today so we hardly go to the office when we do it's like once or twice a month so i've been missing office days i've been feeling sick two seconds uh, i've been feeling sick so i didn't make the last office day that we had and because i've just been stuck in this house i was actually looking forward to going to work so i made sure that i planned my life out properly last night to make sure that you know what today everything goes smoothly fine everything went smoothly in the evening well as smoothly as it could um in the evening and this morning and then as i am driving the kids to school my car decides not today honey pie not today today you are going nowhere this thing stopped moving guys there were no warning signs there was nothing this car would had gone in for service the week before my sick leave so i haven't been on camera for about a week because i was off sick the whole week i thought i was dying i really thought i was dying i think i i might have gotten covid but i really really actually thought that's it my my younger sister was laughing at me so <laughs> saying i'm too i'm being too dramatic but in all honesty i actually felt like it might be the end of the road for me uh, uh honestly and i'm still in recovery but yeah for sunny fine anyway so uh the week before the car had gone for service and then um the following week i was in the house the whole week because i was sick and then today is the second day of the new week and my car decided it won't move so then i call insurance um they sent through i think i'm gonna use two capsules because chumi is that kind of thing um they call the tour guys in well, um, while the tour guys are coming, obviously I'm calling my dad, I'm calling Mr. B, I'm calling my sisters because I'm in the car with the kids, they need to get to school and I also need to just calm down, you know. <coughs> anyway, while I'm on the phone with Mr. B, he says, I'm okay, uh, did you start the car after you realized um, that this is happening as in after you called insurance and everything i'm like no i'm just chilling here waiting for them the tour guys and then he says okay just try starting it does this thing not start and does it not move now i've been sitting there with these kids for the better half of, a, of, a, of an hour or even even more fine i'm like okay and then he says no but if your car is moving why don't you just continue with your trip go to work drop the kids Lapo, I've already called the school to tell them we're having issues with the car. Hey, all of this before 9 a.m. Eh? But anyway, so actually before 8 a.m. Anyway, so I'm like, no, you know what? I probably will not feel comfortable because I was going downtown today for work. I won't feel comfortable if they don't look at this car and assure me that there's nothing really to worry about. Um so i am going to continue with the plan with the insurance we get um we get told me and the kids get told my sister takes the kids to school thank goodness for siblings and that whew, ability to come rescue a situation you know um she takes uh she comes to the dealership fetches the kids takes the kids to school at the dealership the technician is on some chimney what actually is wrong with the car and then I explain what happened and they're like, yeah, in no shame, we're going to have to do diagnostics because la, they, we can't, like, just off sight. We can't see anything that seems to be the problem with the car. 
and now because tomorrow is a public holiday people are voting tomorrow okay so they saying to me this car might be there until thursday so now mina i tell my boss but hey, life is not lifing like i needed it to today so i don't know if coming all the way downtown uh with my kids at school without me having a car how it's gonna work out and thank god she understood um so i got a uh, handy to take me home so that i can work from home so i need to figure myself out on how i'm gonna get the kids from school this afternoon because as far as i understand chances are very high that i will only get this car on thursday i don't know how i'm gonna make it to the voting station without a car and guys guys i don't know i don't know the only thing i knew for sure which is what i'm doing now as soon as i got into this house is that i need coffee and i need to start working because i was meant to start work at eight today um otherwise welcome to the start of another vlog and might i add this is my birthday week how happy am i like i don't understand how this week wants to do me like this this whole month actually i do not understand why this month felt like it should do me the way that it has anyway i've started the vlog so we shall be together until the weekend cheers okay so you know i'm laughing because if i don't laugh i've been saying this i think the whole day if i don't laugh i'm going to end up crying so i did mention that we took the car and i just got a report back from the dealership right so i did mention that i took the car in for service about two weeks ago fine uh when i got the car back uh when i took the car it had half a tank worth of petrol and when i got it back it had a full tank so i was like okay tell me i don't know why they gave me half a tank's worth of petrol but who am i to fight the universe you know the universe said nancy petrol so why would i fight like why would i fight honestly in cyril's economy why would i be fighting being blessed with petrol so i kept it moving we did what we needed to do that week the following week we parked the car because we were sick we were not going anywhere um so today as i'm driving like i mentioned before like the car just would not move forward i didn't understand accelerator was just not accelerating that's when i decided okay something's wrong stop the car restart the car and then i saw the 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 various warning lights right anyway we got told went to handy they just called back ask me what's wrong with the car <laughs> these people are saying to me that when the car went in for service the technician did not adjust the full ga fuel gauge right so while it's reading as full i'm sure i still have a picture from this morning i'll i'll try to stick it up here while the the car is showing as full in terms of the fuel tank in fact there is no fuel in my car there's no petrol that is the problem that kept me from going to work today that got me all hot and flustered before 8 a.m in the morning that made my kids late for school And this is just 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 an indication of how may has been treating me may has not been the kindest girl in the world to me because are you trying to tell me that my whole day got turned upside down and I could have just stopped at a garage to pull petrol is that what you're telling me I had to get my kids in a tow truck had to bother my poor sister who's not feeling well to take my kids to school because the car said there was fuel but there was actually no fuel there was actually no fuel help me understand Mazalwan. 
and as i feel like may just wants my skin at this point it it, it doesn't want to end without having a piece of me and yeah i refuse i yes i refuse i refuse so i'm laughing because in essence it is kind of funny i should have known something was wrong why would the why what the hell would they give me fuel well i thought something was wrong that's why i posted about it but at the same time you know i was like just like thank you for your blessings from above all the while anyway that's the update i don't know when they're gonna call me to come fetch this car chat but that's what's wrong with my car let me continue doing my work So it's Wednesday. A girl went to vote. We voted. We did the right things. Okay. Um, just come back. It was very quick. Hey, I don't even think I was in there for ten minutes. Ten minutes is, is too long, to be quite honest. It was just in and out, in and out, and I loved that for myself. Got to collect a few things for dinner, and I'm going to have a late lunch now, and taken up but i wanted to let you guys know that i finished reading a gathering of shadows by v Schwab book two in the shades of magic series i'm now about to start a conjuring of light by v e Schwab. i'm going to listen to that as i nap but when i do wake up i'm tucking into angela mccullough's the read dance stalker in case you did not know myself charity nonley and Ompile have a book club called fully booked book club um over on the book club app and this is our book club pick for the month may june so i haven't started this this is the sequel to red ink i read red ink about four years ago but i recently watched the series on show max so my mind is kind of like um still in it uh, and understanding this one is a signed copy by darling miss angela she signed it last year when i got the book from pen mcmillan so these are the two books that i think i'll be busy with for maybe the next week and a half hopefully less i am currently sitting on 51 books so i've read 51 books so far this year out of my 60 60 uh book um challenge for 2024 for every year actually that's the book challenge that i have for myself 60 books a year so i have nine more books to go so i think this year is going to be a good year because we ain't gonna stop reading when we reach that goal chat so these are my immediate the other one that that should be on this pile is i do don't i by zibu sitole which is the sequel to the thing with zola but these two are my priority at the moment anyway let me not ramble just wanted to let you guys know that we went did the right thing we voted regional national provincial we did it we did it now we just want to see what happens what happens with all of that i'm about to take off this wig child gonna lay on this bed listen to a conjuring of light take a young nap and then i'm gonna wake up and make some oven pizza actually today is like one of those days where i'm doing close to zero make some oven pizza for the kids get them ready for school tomorrow and you know be a day closer to my best day. It's my birthday on Friday. Mm. Mm. Hi guys. 
so it's thursday and i'm about to start my work shift i just wanted to check in let you guys know that i did a few things today which includes these dark ass brows hey boo i'm definitely gonna try wash them down today and tomorrow because that's definitely not how dark i wanted them to be uh so i went to wax tint wax and tint my brows and i also did my lashes um and i also did my toes so i feel like tomorrow i can feel like a birthday princess and stuff you know um i wanted to get myself a gift this year for my birthday there's something i've been wanting for a while i don't even want to say it anymore because it doesn't look like i'm gonna get it it just became so complicated and i was like okay for me that signals that it's not the right time for this thing and i should just let it go for now and get it at another time so my other time is gonna probably i'm gonna try again around christmas time if it doesn't happen then i'm just gonna let it be until it comes up again um that i really want this thing anyway <coughs> so that means i'm not gifting myself again this year on my birthday but i definitely am gonna be going out with my friends my sisters in life my sisters in blood you know just to unwind and thank the universe the heavens god for another year on planet earth and hopefully this time around i actually learn what it is that i'm supposed to be doing here because if anything if you're close to me that's the one conversation i've been having for over a month like not in a jokey haha -ha way but i am honestly always consumed with existential thoughts um i think there was a point in my life where i thought i understood what it is that we're supposed to be doing but that day has come and gone to me i have no idea what we are supposed to be doing here and for me the day-to-day -day has started to feel a little bit mundane so i'm grateful for the chance to chill with my people tomorrow hopefully make this a weekend um celebration affair um i feel like that will definitely fill up my tank so we made some reservations i need to um confirm the booking by making a deposit uh as soon as i've settled approve as soon as i've settled and then i'll know that all systems go for tomorrow i can't wait i actually can't wait anyway let me work honeys i might not be able to check in again uh today but uh, what i will say is that i did listen to a bit of um a conjuring of light by v.e schwab i showed you the book yesterday so i managed to, while i was running on my errands to read a bit of the book via audio and then on my kindle i did downstairs i did read a little bit more from where the dark stands still if you've listened to the, or watched the last few vlogs you will know that i've been wrestling with that book it's a ya fantasy and to be quite honest i don't think that it's a bad book it's just that it's very slow paced for me and most of the time this year i've been consuming epic slash high fantasy slash adult fantasy and i suppose this is why this is feeling like it's feeling at the moment but i am determined to finish it it's just i should have finished it by now anyway those are the two books that i did uh meddle with during my errands and so for some reason i got the dye and it's quite strong i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see here on my nails and i'm trying to think what i can use to just like take it off i don't want to use anything too harsh eh. problems are many anyway this was me checking in um i'll talk to you tomorrow on my birthday girl talk to you guys tomorrow 
guys it's my birthday and i'm so miserable it's early in the morning i'm working and i'm the kids are getting ready for school but this eye something's been in it since last night and i don't know what it is i've done everything eye drops washed it out put a wet towel everything right and i'd say i have a star but i can't identify anything it's been crying since i woke up i slept because it was crying yesterday i slept early because it was crying and i really don't understand i can't be like this the whole day i'm gonna need to go visit the salon again if it continues to just ask them to it's either they take this whole thing off um or they identify the problem i'm so miserable <laughs> anyway anyway that is my early morning update um just hoping that the day looks better after this because child this is not the plan at all anyway happy birthday to me <laughs> Okay, so my shift has just ended. I would have given anything to go to sleep. Actually, I wanted to take a nap before my cousin comes and the day officially gets started. But I am off. Sorry. But I'm heading out to the salon because this is not on. Like I'm saying, it's either they take it out or they replace it but i cannot live like this absolutely not it is not the way anyway that's the update oh child my lighting is worse than worse but anyway this is me excuse the change in lighting i'm in the bathroom okay let me catch my breath let me catch my breath so this is my look for the evening the lighting is going to change again because i'm going back to the passage so that i can show you on the mirror what the whole outfit looks like I haven't worn my shoes yet but this is the final look birthday girl vibes birthday girl vibes and all that stuff okay let's see what this looks like so i had this dress from sheen got it in like December I'm so sad with the lighting let me see if I can change it oh child you guys can't even see the proper picture I mean well the the color of the dress anyway I'm wearing this dress from Shein and I'm gonna wear some black heels uh, that I got from a surprise and I will be here ready to hit the town the town the town oh look at how tall i am now okay let me see if this will work you guys won't be able to see properly though anyway Ooh. those are the shoes this is kind of like the color of the dress okay and this is the face i'm wearing this necklace from she in my prescription glasses i'm not wearing anything on this side and then i'm wearing my apple watch with this band that i got from take a lot and i got this wig from that's pamela and dong and this thing it's called wood share it's called honey honeycomb honeycomb that's where i got the wig from um so that's my look oh this side is better in terms of the lighting so that's the color of the dress yeah and that's the color of the hair and my lipstick is also from sheen i love this lipstick so much not sure if it's giving it's giving i'm smudging is what it's giving but wow the way i'm in love with this red because it's not a loud red it's but it's a very you know i feel you red you know i'm gonna have to touch it up and fix it obviously in the uber but thought i'd say hi before we hit the streets and let you know this is how i look tonight 
ready to party. Eh, eh, ooh. Okay. Peace.